YouTube, what up? Right now we got the Dallas Mavericks versus the OKC Thunder game six, man. And uh, congratulations to the Mavericks. They made it to the Western Conference Finals. And I'm glad that Kyrie is back in the in the in a very competitive spirit as far as like getting deep into the playoffs. Cause he hasn't really got deep in the playoffs there since the Cavs. You know, and it's just good to see, you know what I'm saying, as far as like everything he's been through. You know, the vaccine shit, which everybody's starting to, you know, over the past couple of years, everybody talking about, man, y'all, man, I regret putting that shit in my body, or, man, you know, everybody's kind of like rolling over and shit like that, but when, but when Kyrie was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't trying to put that shit in my body, they'll call him a locker room cancer, uh, he's a distraction, he should retire, you know, things of that nature, so I'm just glad that he's back in the winning situation, even though I believe that they're gonna, they gonna get knocked out, whether they're playing the Timberwolves or the Nuggets. I want I wanted to be the Timberwolves, but you know the Nuggets may you know uh, get to that motherfucker. I'm watching Game Seven tonight. But uh, the only problem I got is I don't like how passive Kyrie is like during the, the first half. Like you know when he was with the Cavs, and the, the reason you know he was just he was, he was just gunning. I'm like he's shooting that bitch. You know what I'm saying? He, he trying he trying to get his. And now, now that he's older, he's very passive in the first half. And usually, if, it's like if you don't catch fire, if he doesn't catch fire uh, in the second half, he's going to end up with like 13 points. But if he's on, he'll get to like 22 when I really want him to get like 30, 30 plus. You know what I'm saying? It's very frustrating to see. So when I was watching this game yesterday, I cut it off at halftime because I was pissed. Straight up. They end up, I woke up the following morning and they won. I was happy about that, but I was pissed, bro. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. Y'all like the video, man? Like the video, man? I got a uh, music video out right now. It's called Popping Out, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in, man. When y'all look up my name, NB Growing Hard, just click on the fuck with your boy and drop a dollar in my cash shop. It's much appreciated. And I hope y'all having a good day. And uh, this shit might be twitching a little bit, but we just thugging it out until I figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And that and that, that that frustrated me a lot because it looked at first it was looking like they weren't ready to play. And uh, shout out to OKC man, they had an excellent season. I believe SGA should have been the MVP, not because he's black. Well, not only because he's black, but because nobody expected OKC Thunder to be the number one seed in the Western Conference. Facts. I mean, we could we could debate all all day long. Like they got potential. They had the second. They had the second pick of the draft, bro. We. At best, I thought they were probably gonna be like a, a seven seed, but they was all they was number one in a convincing matter. But uh, shout out to the Mavs for pulling it off, and shout out to the old the whole OKC Thunder team in, entirely because you know they came a long way back in the KD days, Russell Westbrook, and the Harden days, and I miss those days. But and they was able to bounce back, and now they're back in the competitive uh, era. It's good to see, you know what I mean, and uh. Okay, so he just needs one more superstar piece to line up with SGA, and I think they can go all the way, for real. They already got the chemistry. They already got the young guys, you know what I'm saying? And they just need one veteran or a couple of veterans. Uh, to And they got they got draft picks for days, so they, they, they good on that. So they I feel like they're going to make a major move, like as far as trading, because ain't nobody just been willingly, willingly go to OKC. So... We'll see, man. Shout out to Lively, man. He's a, he's he and he's a strong-minded dude, man. He, I think he lost his mom and his pops or something like some crazy like that, and he's he's still performing and you know that that type of shit I appreciate. And shout out to Jalen Williams, number six. He's from Arkansas too. All right, and Isaiah Joe, he's from Arkansas. So I was telling my girl the other day, I'm like, man, we got like six people from Arkansas in the league. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful to see. And I love SGA's game. You know what I'm saying? He's a mid. Like, I love niggas who utilize the mid range and they still get buckets. God, I saw that shit. He hit that motherfucker. But Jalen Williams is going to have to take a huge leap next year. Like, he's going to have to. Uh, I mean, he's going to continue to get better. He seemed like one of those guys. Who put in work? Yeah, I know Shay. 
Alexander with the left. Jumper good for Gilgis Alexander. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Defend Gilgis Alexander. Dort has it swatted away by Gafford. Out of bounds. 3.3 seconds left. Irving secures it. Looks to run behind the back. And then to this point, this was a, this was a second made field goal. At that point, I was a second made field goal, and I was pissed. Bro, it's his fucking second quarter. This nigga only a t this nigga this nigga only made two uh, buckets at that point. But when I watch, it's like Eric, my you know Kyrie, my favorite player, my favorite young niggas is Ja Moran, Anthony Edwards. But Kyrie, my guy, and then before that, it was Kobe and uh, KD. But you know, bro, you need to shoot the ball, score. I'm gonna tell you this right now. He ain't gonna be able to get away with this uh, in, in the Western Conference Finals. I don't give a damn. I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, he's sacrificing for the team. That's good. That's cool. A lot of his stats don't even show up on the stats board. Like he sometimes he's the one that makes the skip pass, or you know when he when he should be scoring, he'll make the extra he'll make the extra pass. That don't show up in the box score. He's all he always been a winning player. He always been a winning player, bro. So when they they going against the Nuggets or the Timberwolves, he's gonna have to score and make his presence felt. Cause I want, I want, ooh, I, but what if the Mavericks versus the Celtics? I know everybody talking about the Celtics was a failed experiment for uh, Kyrie, but really, them them niggas, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, they weren't trying to listen to that shit no more. They was getting older. They're like, bro, we we got to the Eastern Conference Finals without you, X, Y, and Z. We don't we ain't even listen to you, bro. They weren't trying to listen, so Kyrie got on down. So how crazy would it be that they would meet up in the finals? Beautiful. That'll be very beautiful. That'll be a crazy story. But yeah, SG, this back to back to the game itself. Uh, Chet, he's gonna continue to improve. You know, uh, he, I think he should get some muscle or try to at least. Uh, SGA is gonna be SGA. You know, he works hard from what I've been hearing. He's a workaholic, and I I love hearing shit like that. Isaiah Joe, hopefully he gets more playing time the next upcoming season. Cause he's a, you know he he's always been a shooter. He been a shooter since. I used to see him around Little Rock. He'll, he'll play with the Arkansas Hawks and shit. He's always been a shooter. Always been a shooter. So, uh, he's going to continue to get better. Get one, nigga. That is a good read, man. That's good. That's this beautiful basketball, man. Got his ass. And one. God damn. When Luca's on and he's scoring the basketball, the efficient rate is beautiful to see. But when he's just jacking up, when it when he ain't making it, it just look like that, it just look like that nigga just jacking shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's very ugly to see. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, nigga, score. And one. Shout out to Gaffer. He's an Arkansas guy, too. A shot or a stretch of excellent play from this guy. They <sighs> he comes up big again. He's got seven in a row for the Thunder. It did, yeah. That's another thing. Luca was turning the ball over early. Very early. Like he had five turnovers, I think, in the first quarter. That shit was pissing me off. I swear to God. I cut that shit off because I was mad. I was mad at Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? And I cut that shit off. But I'm glad they won, though. 
this series. Williams great spin against the big lively and finish. 19 for Jalen Williams mid range Irving switches through. He's got 12 in the second half. Luca long two is good. Dodgins drills another one. It's a four point game. Here's a three from Joe. It's down. And that's exactly why he's in the game. Everybody was talking about why they why why they put Josh Giddy on the bench. Uh, he been starting all year. They fucking up the they fucking up the uh the chemistry, bro. If you can't shoot, fam, and they leaving you open, you need to get off the court. It's that simple. It's that simple. That was lazy defense. Williams driving on Doncic, lobs it up for Holmgren in the slam. Okay, glad you guys took a kick out of that. Jalen Williams with a truck and the finish, and a nice response by this young Thunder team. Great luck, Lively. And one. Good pass. Washington three ties the game. PJ Washington's first basket is a huge one. Doncic going to work, driving on Dort. Fall away. It's gone. Doncic gives Dallas a two-point lead. We'll see if the Thunder answer. Williams does. Splashes a three. Doncic hangs. Blocked by Jalen Williams. Loose ball. Shot clock at two. Irving has to put it up. Falling away. The three around. And down. Take shooters touch to a new level is Alexander again deadly from the mid-range all even at one. I love it. Doncic gives it up. Washington fires. Cans a three. Dallas up three at the two-minute mark. Irving got a shot blocked. Gathered by Jones with one to shoot. Jones. Good shot, boy. Gilgis Alexander drills it. A three for that nigga is a killer. Set a screen and a foul called here as bodies hit the floor. Yogis Alexander has missed three free throws tonight, but not that time. It's a one point game. Yogis Alexander going to get it now on the switch. Lively's got him. He drives, floats it up, and the throw down. A one handed catch with 20 seconds left. Damn. And that was a great. I wish I would have kept watching. I'm gonna fuck with y'all, man. My cousin Carly.